If you want to boost your computer's performance, and especially if you're running out of space, the best thing you can do is change your hard drive and clone your data. It's not only going to save you hours of frustrations, but a whole lot of money too. I'm looking to upgrade my computer's hard drive, wondering what the process is and the price for that. Okay. And is that the main hard drive for the computer? Correct, yes. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, so the hard drive itself would be around 15200 from there, um, it's about $40 to put into the uh, unit itself. Um, and then we do charge, we need to clone the operating system over, so that's about $100 extra. Got it. Uh, no, thank you. We can do this ourselves. Let me show you. The first thing you want to do is you want to check what type of storage you currently have. Not how much storage you currently have, but the type. And I'm going to show you why that's important. To do that, what you want to do is right click on the taskbar and click on task manager. Then at the top, click on performance. And here you'll see all the drives that are connected to your computer. Here's my C drive. I've got a removable drive, which is G and E, but you want to focus on the C drive, which is your main drive. And there we go. It tells me I've got a Samsung SSD 970 Evo plus one terabyte. Now, write that down, go into Google. So I scroll further down, I see Samsung, which is the manufacturer of this particular one. So I click on that, and then I go into here, NVMe SSD, exactly what we thought, and the form factor. Now, this is also important. It's an M2-2280, and we'll get onto why that's important shortly. Okay, so now that you know what type of drive you have, why is that critical? Well, you see, traditional hard drives such as this one originally came out and they had these spinning platters and had this head that moved up and down to read and write your data. And it could do that at around 80 to 160 megabytes per second. Now that does sound super impressive, but think of it like this, like a waiter walking from your table to the kitchen, picking up one item from your order, coming back to your table to drop it off, then going back to the kitchen, picking up another item and then coming back to your table. Yes, it works, but not super efficient. So then we had something called the solid state drive or SSD and that took over and improved the speed from that 80 to 160 megabytes per second to around 200 to 550 megabytes per second. Now our dear waiter is on a skateboard much faster than walking but still has a limit on how fast that skateboard can go. And then we have the NVMe SSD which increases that speed to a massive 3,500 megabytes per second, or even up to 7,000 megabytes per second. Now our dear waiter is on a super fast motorcycle to deliver our food on a super fast highway. Now here is where a lot of people make a critical mistake. They think, okay, so to get the best speed and best performance out of my storage, I will just buy that super fast NVMe waiter on a motorcycle. But what they haven't even checked is it if this waiter is even able to ride a motorcycle? In other words, can your computer even handle that? Or perhaps you already have a waiter on a motorcycle, so changing that to another one is not going to make much difference at all. You now need to check if your computer's motherboard can actually handle the speed that you're going to want to buy. And that is super simple to do as well. Right, in your windows, go down to your search bar and type MSI Info 32 and click on System Information. Now you're gonna see a whole bunch of stuff, but the one we wanna focus on is System Manufacturer. This is a Gigabyte Technology Co. LTD, and the system model is Z390 Aorus Master. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but that's what it is. That's the make and model of my motherboard that's running my computer. Of course, I'm going to stick that into Google, do a quick search, and here are all the specifications of the motherboard. The only thing I'm interested in right now is the NVMe, so I do a quick search for it, and it tells me exactly what my motherboard can do. And this one tells me it's got a Gen 3, another Gen 3, but look at the different type. And the types are that form factor I was referring to earlier, 2280 and 22110. Remember those. Your motherboard may have a Gen 4 or 5, which is even faster than my Gen 3. It could also have a Gen 1 or Gen 2, which is, of course, slower. And because we've looked it up, we now know that this particular motherboard can handle two form factors. It has that 2280 and the 22110. So now let's go find my new storage. 
So oh, good old Amazon, one terabyte NVMe SSD Gen 3 2280. I just type that in and I'm going to get a whole bunch of different options. And I find one that it's a one terabyte. It is Gen 3 and it has the right type 2280. Now, of course, you can really nerd out and research one brand versus another brand and look for those benchmarks. But for most people, getting an NVMe, which is Gen 3 at 3,500 megabytes per second, is going to make a massive difference over your standard old hard drive. Now comes the fun part. We're going to upgrade this mini computer which currently has an NVMe storage but it's only 256 gigs and this computer is running out of space. So to upgrade it I purchased a one terabyte NVMe Gen 4 storage. Now the part that normally throws most people off is we don't want to spend hours reinstalling Windows. We don't want to spend hours having to hunt down all the apps that we have and set them up and install them and then kind of recustomize the computer exactly like we have it right now and then move the data across. Too frustrating, takes too much time. Well, thankfully, we don't need to do that because this is where today's sponsor, EaseUs Disk Copy, comes into play. EaseUs Disk Copy is a tool that is going to clone your hard drive. In other words, it's going to make an exact replica of everything that you have currently on your drive onto your new drive, from your Windows to your apps to your settings and even your data, and saves you all those hours of frustration. The nice thing is, it's super simple to do and it's perfectly safe because it doesn't destroy the data on the original drive. And of course, we don't have to pay someone hundreds of dollars to do it for us. Okay, let's click on the download button, run the installer, and once it's installed, we're simply gonna go to the start menu and we're gonna fire up the EaseUs disk copy utility. And here it is. Right, now that I have disk copy ready to go, I am going to connect my new storage into this external enclosure and plug it into this computer. If your computer has multiple PCI slots, then you can just simply power off your computer, put the new drive in, but this mini PC doesn't, so I have to use an external adapter. Right, under the disk mode, you can see that under the C drive, here is the current drive that I have, and here is the new drive that I've just connected with my external mounting. So I click on Next, and I'm going to select my target, which is the second disk, disk one, that's the one terabyte disk. Click on Next, and look at this. It already meshed up the exact partitions that I currently have. So it's gonna do a copy for copy between disk one and disk two. If I don't like that, I can actually edit the disk layout. So I can make it bigger, I can make it smaller. You can really play around with the settings. I don't like to, so I'm just gonna go back to the default one and let it just do an exact replica, an exact clone of what I currently have. And I want it to be on my new one terabyte drive. So I click on proceed and here is an important warning. This is the data on the target will be erased. So just make sure that you're doing it right. I'm gonna click on continue. Now, this will take a while, depending on the size of your drive, obviously, and how much information, but once it's done, you're gonna see this little message pops up. And the message is, do you want to boot the system from the USB drive? I do not, because I'm gonna click on no if you wanna replace the internal drive to boot from the new hard drive. And that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing, replacing the existing one. And now, it's pretty much done. If I look at my C drive and look at all these folders, click on the D drive, look at these folders, they're exactly the same, we're done. All I've got to do is take it out of my external mounting, mount it into the computer, boot it on, and look at that. All my apps are here, all my customizations here, and so is my data. And this computer is now flying with lots of free space to work. I have a link in the description so you can get your own disk copy tool and the best bit, it's non-destructive. And now that you have your shiny fast new drive with lots of space, do you know these powerful Windows tips right over here? Check them out, give the video a quick thumbs up before you head out, and I'll see you in this video. Let's go.